So this is part two of creating a gauge chart with needle in Chart.js 4. So we have right now our arc and now we're going to focus on creating a needle here, making sure that we can point the exact value that we want. So let's start to look how we can do this. So to draw the needle, what we will need here is creating a plugin that allows us to draw on Chart.js charts. So we're going to scroll down here. Let's create the plugin after the options for the comma, say plugins. And then in here, we can say here the gauge needle. So once we did that, I'm going to copy this and say your constant gauge needle ID will be the gauge needle. And then we're going to say here, when would we like to draw it? In this case, I want to draw it after the data sets because I want the needle to be on top of this uh, arc. So it will point out exactly the item. So we're going to say here, uh, after data sets draw, then we're going to see a chart, arcs, and plugins. Then what I want to do here is an object destructuring. I will be needing just some basic items. So if you don't know what an object destructuring is, please check out my video in the description box on sending chart yes, object destructuring. Very important to know. So I'm going to say CTX and data. And the reason for data, later on, I'll be using a value putting in there that will define the, uh, the needle's value to point. So what I'm going to do here now is once I have this, I'm going to say CTX.save to save all variables above. And let's start to draw the value of this. To draw the value, I need to get the center here. To get this center, I'm going to use a built-in charges functionality. So what I'm going to do here is let's do a console log first and show you this wonderful item here, which I didn't have in charges uh, three, if I'm not mistaken, but in charges four, they started to have that, which is absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to say here, chart uh, dot get data set meta zero. And then we say here dot data. So if I do this, it will probably give us the data values. Uh, let's see here. Oh, of course, make sure we have a console log. Closing parentheses. Get an error here. Uh, get data set meta. For give me about this. It should be data set. Singular, not plural. This is plural here, data set. And this one here must be singular. All right. So now we get all of the information here. And we get a lot of information. All of them are based on the same center of x and y you can see here they're all same and the reason why they're all identical as you can see here is just for one reason only is because this is the circle or how they draw the rotation this here the x and y would indicate the exact center here of the chart and it's not the center of the canvas no it's exactly the center used for this chart here so that's why we need this one. Even if you would have here like a legend or you have padding around it, it will figure out what is the center. This here, X and Y center is very important for us. So I'm going to say here, index zero dot X. But then what I want to do, of course, I want to copy this. I'll just say a constant X center equals this. Then what I want to do is I want to do the same for the Y center. So we have here the Y or this needs to be the Y center. All right, so now we have this here. Then what I want to do here is basically the following. If we're going to draw an arc, we need to know a few values or uh, uh, let's see. But what I meant was basically we need to have the rotation, but we will get certain values here. For example, I need to know if you draw an arc, you need to know the center of where it starts. And then of course you need to know how many pixels is from this point all the way here up? Luckily, this is quite simple because we have this information here. If we're going up here, we have here the, uh, let's see here, it should be here the inner radius and the outer radius. Where's the outer radius? There we are. The difference here is the inner radius is basically the radius in, on this line here, calculate exactly this line. And the other one here, the outer radius would calculate the outer ring of the donut slice so those two can be used so we can use different positions so what i want to do in this case is i want to have of course i want to pinpoint the exact center whatever the center is would be basically the difference between the outer and the inner radius that difference here is maybe about 50 pixels i don't know something like that we're going to calculate that 
So how do we do this? We're going to say a constant. We're going to say outer radius will be equal to, and we're going to grab this, and just say your outer radius. And again, because we're in the same data set, the outer radius of, of every data point is identical. So we're going to say outer radius, outer radius. Then what I want to do is I want to grab here the inner radius. Save that, refresh. Of course, nothing happens yet. And I guess to make this really clear is to draw a simple line for now. I'm going to draw a simple line and so you have a visual. So I'm going to say here ctx.move to. And what we're doing here is time to draw the line. Make sure you have this here. Basically, the move to has two values, an x and y value. So for the x and y value, it will become very simple now. It's because we have here the x and y, or well, at least the center. We want to start here on the x and y. That's like the dot that you start with, with your pencil, and then you make a line. So what I want to do is I want to make a line going all the way up here. So to do that, I'm going to have a straight vertical line. So I'll keep the y center consistent. But if I put in here zero, you will see now we don't have a line yet. And the reason why, of course, is I need to say ctx dot stroke to draw that line. And I do realize that I need to change this here, say line two. If I save that, refresh, there we are. All right, I was not expecting a uh, line going there. I was expecting it to go up. All right, my mistake. We have to put that one consistent, but this one should be on zero. Then we have a nice uh, vertical line. So what I want to do now is I want to make sure you understand the outer radius and this is the outer radius that should be spelled like that to get the outer radius here you would say well I just have to add this in but that's not the case and the reason why it is because it will calculate basically the pixel position but the pixel position of this is 300 plus meaning it will go down so what I need to do here is work with negative numbers like that and probably maybe from here so we deduct this and as you can see here now what we did is we deduct this the difference of this but this looks so complicated but you can see here we have the auto is hitting it and you can see here it's drawing this line don't worry I'm going to cover that as well but you can see here if I take the inner radius you will get here the starting point so what we want to do is having it in there and I'm going to use a trick here in the next video I'm going to use a simple trick that makes it so much easier with and they will avoid these complicated calculations.